Next up, we have Keegan Zimmerman. Keegan is from St. Mary's County. He started Special Olympics in 2007 and has done 16 sports. He has attended nationals and won world games. When not participating in Special Olympics, he is DJing when, whenever anybody's looking for a DJ. It could be birthday parties, sports, end of the season parties, or different events. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Keegan Zimmerman, and I am a Special Olympics Mountain athlete from St. Mary's County. I have four topics I'd like to present in my speech. They are passion, independence, leadership, and survival. So what is passion? Passion is someone that's passionate about something such as talking about it constantly, being equal to do it, and feeling a great amount of love and affection towards it. For an example, passion means sending other people reaching out to great heights, like being the athlete leader for any organization they are in. So what does it mean to me? Passion means to me, for an example, everyone here has a passion for someone they enjoy. Whenever it's sports, music, cooking, WWE, or fundraising. When I see someone passionate about something and it inspires me to learn more and get involved, for instance, I went from zero sports to 16 different sports year round. I also DJ and I'm involved in helping my community. The next topic is independent. So what is independent? Independent is free from outside control, not depending on others' authority. For an example, becoming your own boss. The question is, what does independent mean to me? Independent means to me is someone that does things by themselves without someone else getting involved. You can do anything that you want to do as a individual, like working on a car by yourself, or setting up group meetings, walking in the store or restaurant by yourself, Oh yeah, here's a good one. Pumping your own gas by yourself. Not a lot of people know how to pump their own gas or even changing a tire, you know? Learning how to ride a bike or shoot a basket playing basketball or learning how to kayak or ski by yourself, um, driving by yourself or also playing a video game or doing a jigsaw or doing your own laundry. All these examples are things that you do by yourself without any help. That is why it's called being independent. The next topic I'd like to bring up is leadership. So what is leadership? Leadership is a person who leads or commands a group, organization, county slash country, which I am an athlete leader as well. So for an example, reaching out to people about the organization that you are in. Leadership means to me is when to help your own teammate out, like basketball and you are the point guard and you're running your own basketball team on how to play basketball so the team will be better. Um, another one is being a manager at a job and teaching employees how to do that job. A good example would be a volunteer for a nonprofit that will be a volunteer manager for that new volunteers for that nonprofit organization so they will know what kind of job they need to do. Some of the people, my friends, when I told them they can participate in Special Olympics, but they would tell me, how can I? My friends would tell me that I'm not able to do it because it's only for people that have intellectual disabilities. Well, I would tell my people that I'm friends with that I'm letting them know that's not the case. They will be able to participate like me so they can get a medal or go to nationals or the World Games too. That's why they call it unified sports. Anything I can do, they can do. And last but not least, the last topic I want to bring up is survival. So what is survival? Survival is a person who survives, especially a person remaining alive after an event in which of those have died. For an example, a person who copes well with difficulties in their life, the reason why I am a survivor and what it means to me is, on December 9th, 1989, is when I had my first seizure. It lasted over two hours long. I have had everything from grandma seizures, also known as tonic-clonic seizures, drop, 
but teen mall seizures and nocturnal seizures, also known as sleep-related seizures. They are most common when falling asleep just before waking up and soon after um, waking. Basically, the whole nine yards in regards to seizures. I come from a military family, so my dad is a retired Marine, and we were stationed in San Diego when I first had my first seizure. After a year of testing, my dad was able to get all of us to Quantico, Virginia, where doctors arranged for me to be seen by head of neurology, Dr. Morales at Bethesda Hospital. After reviewing my case, she then referred me to the neuro, um, neurology, excuse me, department at Walter Reed Hospital. While being consistently tested at Walter Reed Hospital, I was recommended to be on a case study program um, at NIH, known as the National Institute of Health, because of my seizure disorder was so well. They actually had me on medication with the case study program that helped control my seizures. It has been available in Europe for over 20 years, however, not in the United States. When the program ended, I no longer could receive that medication, and my um, system came back in abundance. I believe I was seven years old when I had Stephen Johnson syndrome. So what is Stephen Johnson syndrome? Stephen Johnson syndrome, quote, SJS, is a well serious disorder of the skin and mucous membranes. It's usually a reaction to the medication that starts with a flu-like system and followed by a painful rash that spreads in blisters. Then the top layer of the affected skin dies and sheds and begins to heal after several days once the doctors have given me treatment. I also went into cardiac arrest twice, and my mom had given, um, gave me CPR, and my parents had to become CPR certified through the Red Cross. With my seizures, which is when they decide to give my parents oxygen tanks and medication to have at home so the doctors can assist my parents and helping them put me out of the seizures while we're waiting for medics to arrive. I also have developed Todd's paralysis. With my seizures is when my entire right side will go paralyzed and it could last up to days, hours, weeks, or maybe parliament. The longest of my right side was paralyzed is three days. I would also lose my vision, and sometimes when I come out of a seizure, I could say, quote, Mommy, I can hear you, but I cannot see you. I believe I was five when I was taken up to 32 pills a day, and the doctor said, if the seizures don't kill me, the medication will. They said I would not live to see my teen, um, teen years, and my longest seizure was a little over four hours long. At the hospital, they drew blood to check my levels. However, um, they um, did not find out my levels, and they said they have given me enough seizure medication to knock me out like a horse. It was the seizures that truly made a difference in me academically, where my parents had worked so hard with me to read, and all that hard work had been diminished. I had not really spoken a word, usually pointing at things, I wanted and needed. My parents had gone to too many doctors to help um, for me, and they always ended with saying there was nothing that they can do for me. It was when my parents were at Walter Reed Hospital when the head of neurology gave me many tests, and he also said he was sorry, but there was no more he could do to help me. It was months after that my parents had gotten a phone call from the new head of neurosurgery, Dr. Kevin Kafaji, wanting to know why they did not want me to have the surgery. My parents told the new head of neurosurgery that how we were never told that was an option. He said that if my parents were interested, he would like to run some tests and decide if we could go ahead with the surgery. I was 11 years old when they removed three parts of my brain. However, things did not go smooth sailing then. 
I then began to have seizures again. However, now it was going on the opposite side of my brain. The doctor had said that um, this was normal and my parents said, quote, I wish someone would have told us then. It took about a year and a half to two years of my brain to rewire itself along with the medication to help my seizures to be under control. After the operation, I had 180 staples and a couple of stitches and I had three plates in my head to hold the skull in place. The doctor that did my surgery asked me one question after everything was on, all done with my operation. Hey Keegan, would you like your hair um, growing back to cover up the skull? And I had a decision to make and I told him no because it makes me feel good to show it. Some people think I had a car accident, but when I explain to them that I had seizures when they asked, I get a comment saying, sorry, I did not know, and they will apologize to me, and I said, it's okay, you know? Um, you know, they did not know that that is why I like to show the scar, because I know I survived the surgery. I also had an ACL and an MCL meniscus replacement in both knees, but, um, they were six years apart from two different sports, and it was a sports injury on both knees. In my Special Olympics career, when I did get injured, I was only able to do two sports and not even doing contact sports. I think the only two sports I had done to, um, was bocce and cycling. And once they got stronger, then I was able to do multiple sports again. And I did physical therapy for a whole year. My legs got so strong, I broke the sprocket on my road bike. And once I bought a new one, I'm going from 21 miles an hour to 31 miles an hour. So with all of these three surgeries that I have now, I call myself the bionicle man. But the brain surgery was the main one because I did not know if I was going to live or not. I will not be on this stage right now doing this speech, but you know what? I did it, and that is why I am a survivor. In conclusion, I pray you all understand why these topics are so important to me and have a small understanding of what I've been through and how you too can make a difference. Thank you for your time, and God bless you guys um, that you are here and online streaming today and drive home safely. Thank you.